I just recommend you to look at the whole thing. Uh, it happened, as I said, last year, last month only, and and here we see other footage of the same thing. There's he, he's lying there, um, and you can also see on uh, YouTube his brother then being interviewed, and there are many many different aspects to it. This brother is seemingly under the influence of drugs instead and makes a terrible appearance so it, it's likely to destroy the whole family uh, um, that is very very sad of course okay now you can say well why why uh, why did the police shoot him well maybe they had these reasons or for me this is his brother. They should not even have put him on television because it was self-destructive. Okay. The Sacramento Police Department has. Now. Uh, just another case, also, uh, I think that's from uh, April, yes, uh, that is only uh, about two weeks ago. In, in London, there have been 51 young persons killed alone this year, it seems, by stabbing mostly, but sometimes also by revolvers and that is a lot for London and uh, the last one of the last cases was a drive-by shooting of a 17 year old girl by the name of Tanesha Melbourne she was sitting with friends uh, in the street and then came a motorbike with two people on it and they killed her and who is who's guilty of killing Tanesha? Well, maybe a 30-year-old suspect who has now been arrested. And maybe this 30-year-old person belongs to a gang in London. But why should they kill Tanesha? Well, there is a theory that they wanted to kill the person close to Tanesha and the when you go by a motorbike mm -hmm. and you're not a real good killer, then you get the wrong person. And you can find a lot of things on YouTube about this case. And it's quite probable that they wanted to kill somebody else in retaliation for something that, that they had done. And then slowly you find out that in London, at the time being now, you have a number of gangs and these gangs, they are in states of war, and these wars, they seem very silly. They are called post-code wars. Like you have this SEP in Brazil, this is SEP, that's a postal code, and they have postal codes that look a little different with, with uh, uh, letters and numbers in London, like N NX4P or something. And so London is divided in different postal codes. And now they have gangs in these areas that call themselves after the postal code. So I can be a member of the XP5L gang, for instance, and I fight the members of the RIP19 uh, postal code. Postcode wars. Now we can say, who is guilty of killing Tanesha Melbourne, the 17-year-old? We can say, well, it was the 30-year-old guy. We can say it was the gang, the postcode gang of this guy. And we also can say, um, look here, here we have the different 
postcode gangs. There is a Woodgrange gang E7, a Beckton E6, uh, there is a CR7 gang. These are all postcodes of London. Okay, we can say the gangs are guilty of killing Tanesha, the 17-year-old girl. Then we find out that the wars that these gangs are having, they are about trivial things. Oh, you have put something on Facebook or on Instagram that was against me, so I put things on Instagram that is against you, and the next time uh, I meet you, I will kill you, and this is what they're doing. But behind this seemingly irrationality are drugs, of course, are drugs. And one of the areas uh, in London where these things happen is Tottenham. And in Tottenham, they have a member of parliament that is David Lemmy. And he says, well, it is very easy for a child who goes home to an empty council estate flat because his mom cannot afford childcare while she is at work, can become a gang member. All it takes is a gift of new trainers, he says, David Lemming, for which in return the child is soon asked to carry a little package around the corner. And before long, the 12-year-old is earning more in one week than his parents make in a year. The white middle-class market for cocaine is booming. As we had found out with Dan Verb and others, there's more cocaine, it's less expensive, it's better than ever before, and it's just flooding. And it's flooding London to an extent that London has dropped out of a number of European surveys about drug use. They don't want to be included anymore because their level is so high. They say, oh no, please take all the numbers from everything, but not from them. And, um, and the, this member of parliament who comes from this part of London, he says, it is so easy nowadays for young people to be members of drug gangs. It's the most normal thing. And the white middle class market for cocaine is booming. People are ordering drugs on WhatsApp, Snapchat, it's easy. One young constitu constituent was caught selling cocaine in Aberdeen in Scotland. Dealers in London now operate what are known as county lines, supplying cocaine to every region of the country. Like Amazon, you know, you just say click, I ordered one, one click order, and they transport it very soon from London all over the place. Now the question that the reporter asked David Lemmy is, do middle class customers who are living safe in their neighborhoods far away from Tottenham, do they have blood on their hands? This is the blame game. Who is guilty of the death of the 17 year old girl? The guy who shot her, 30 years old, maybe gang member. The gang, maybe. Or the drug users, because it's dr about drugs. The gangs would not flourish if the cocaine market would not be so blossoming. So maybe the users of drugs are guilty of the death of the 17-year-old girl. The users just want to use, but they pay a lot of money, and they know that they pay a lot of money to organize crime, to gangs. So the blame could be going to the users of drugs. And if the users of drugs are guilty, then of course it would be okay to put them in prison. Why not put them in prison? They are morally the ones who are guilty. And this is the idea that also has, has uh, oh, 
capitão nascimento na tropa dele. Eu gostei muito dessa cena onde o capitão nascimento pergunta ao cara lá na favela e você, quem você é? Estudante? Estudante! <risos> Vamos, vamos só dar uma olhada nesse... <risos> pra, pra botar a consciência pesada em vocês. <risos> são os estudantes que são culpados de todos os assassinatos que acontecem na fé da Thank <laughs> you. 